Samsung is getting closer to releasing the One UI 7 beta for the Galaxy S24. The Samsung Galaxy S24 series is expected to be the first to receive the Android 15 update with One UI 7. As of December 2024, a new One UI 7 build for the Galaxy S24 Ultra has been spotted on the test server CheckFirm. This aligns with Samsung's earlier announcement that a beta version would be released by the end of the year, and this new build suggests it's almost ready. Reports indicate that Samsung is steadily advancing the One UI 7 update for the Galaxy S24 series. The latest build has progressed from version ZXKV to ZXKY, signaling that Samsung is in the final stages of preparation before the rollout. This also hints that the beta version is just around the corner, allowing users to get an early hands-on experience. The One UI 7 update promises a variety of enhancements, including an overhaul user interface design, performance improvements, and expanded customization options. The interface will be fully revamped to deliver a cleaner, simpler, and more intuitive experience. Are you excited for One UI 7? What's your thought on this? Let me know in the comments section. Samsung's work on the One UI 7 release is well underway, with its development teams internally testing builds on a variety of compatible devices. The list of devices compatible with One UI 7 is extensive, including mid-range models like the Galaxy A73, Galaxy A33, and Galaxy A54. Reports suggest that testing for these devices is progressing smoothly, indicating steady development. Notably, we learned back in August 2024 that Android 15-based One UI 7 builds were being developed for devices like the Galaxy A73, Galaxy A54, Galaxy A53, and others. These models, especially the Galaxy A3X series, are among Samsung's most popular mid-range smartphones. Recently, a new build for the Galaxy A54 surfaced, providing further confirmation of Samsung's internal testing. Identified as a 546 BXX UBDXK, this build was spotted by a reliable tipster and is currently being tested on the European variant with Poland's CSC code Kato list tied to the region. Additionally, firmware versions have been spotted for the Galaxy A73 and Galaxy A33, bearing a 736 BXX UAFX K6 and a 336 BXX UCFX K6, respectively. While mid-range devices like these often take a backseat to flagship phones during major software releases, it's clear that the gap in update timing may not be significant this time. Ideally, users won't have to wait long after the flagship updates to receive the new software on mid-range devices. The Galaxy A54 is currently running Android 14-based One UI 6.1. However, anticipation for One UI 7 is high, as users are eager to explore its new features. Interestingly, the A54 recently appeared on Geekbench, scoring 978 in single-core and 3044 in multi-core tests, underscoring its performance potential ahead of the next major update. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. Samsung Spain accidentally published an official page for One UI 7 on their website. While the page was quickly taken down, it featured the official One UI 7 promotion video. This video, which had been leaked a month ago, and yes, I covered it then, is now confirmed to be 100% legitimate. The video showcases redesigned app icons, confirming that One UI 7 will introduce more vibrant and detailed icons compared to those in One UI 6.1. Additionally, we get a glimpse of a revamped lock screen, complete with a pill-shaped battery indicator and a new Now bar at the bottom. This bar allows you to control various background activities, such as playing or pausing music, starting or stopping voice recordings or managing timers. Essentially, it lets you control any live activity or notification running in the background. Tapping on the now bar while music is playing transforms it into a full screen media player, a handy new feature. Speaking of the lock screen, One UI 7 will bring new widgets in various sizes as well as transparent widgets for the home screen. Ice Universe recently shared an image showcasing its redesigned quick panel layout and this aligns with the official promotional material. The updated quick panel features horizontal bars for adjusting volume and brightness. These sections are fully customizable, so you can arrange them according to your preferences. One UI 7 also promises smoother, more fluid animations. Samsung has added a host of new animations, like the one you'll see when opening the recent apps tab. 
Improved fluidity means no lag or frame drops when opening or closing apps. Of course, there's more to explore in One UI 7, and we'll uncover additional features once the beta goes live. This month, we can expect the official One UI 7 beta update from Samsung. It's unlikely that Samsung will delay the beta any longer, so the One UI 7 beta program should roll out either in the first week or by mid-December 2024. If you prefer to skip the beta, you'll need to wait a bit longer. Samsung plans to release the stable One UI 7 update by late January or February 2025, coinciding with the launch of the Galaxy S25 series. For now, the better release is just around the corner and will offer an official preview of all the features and changes coming to One UI 7 with Android 15. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section.